right, so let's jump into the next one. So since it's October again, let's do another scary compilation, and then we're gonna do some some other stuff. Um, this one is scary compilation version sixty seven. I don't know how many we've missed, but I think we was we was on something back in the day. But this is bizarre, but yeah. So the following video shows a woman doing a live stream From inside October her house 6. when something extremely creepy is caught on camera. The woman in this video is known as Cello Loca, who's well known for doing tarot card readings and other fortune telling activities. It isn't often the case, but occasionally, Cello would go online and do a live stream where she does tarot card readings for her viewers. But it was just recently that Cello had done something completely different. Instead of reading cards as usual, she decides to do a seance inside her house. Little did she know that this would be a big mistake. As Cello tries to make contact with the dead, she talks to a friend on the phone who's watching the live stream. She sits in front of a mirror when all of a sudden this happens. No possible. No possible. No possible. That shit just gave me chills, man. But listen, my question is, like, what, like, what decade are we living in that we still getting crappy, crappy footage from these amazing phones? Come on, man. Like, this is the shit that makes me not believe a lot of the shit that we watch is because of the crappy ass footage. Come on, bro. Like, I just did a video of a lizard on a tree and I was dead ass about 12 feet away and I zoomed in and that video came out so crystal clear. Like what's going on? Ay, tu madre, de puta. No me toquéis que estoy protegida, eh. No me toquéis que estoy protegida. No vale, ya abro la luz, tía. Somehow, the door opens on its own. But even stranger is that it opened when Cello asked the supposed spirit to do so. Feeling completely terrified, she takes a moment to gather herself before proceeding further with the seance. What happens next has left her beyond spooked. Watch. Te puedes poner delante del espejo, por favor? Te puedes poner delante del espejo, por favor? Estás enfadado? Te puedes poner delante del espejo, por favor? Te puedes poner delante, venga, ponte delante del espejo, te quiero ver. Dios, tu puta madre, no, puta, no me caigo. It is at this point that Cello has seen enough and decides to end the live stream. Given what happened, viewers believe that Cello might have reached out to a sinister entity. Yet others think that something else was contacted. Although pretty spooky, it could be that this whole thing was just a setup for the sole purpose of getting views. You're right. But it seems that many viewers find this video to be genuine evidence of something paranormal. But of course, you be the judge. Ghost or not? Feel free to let me know what you think. Now the following video barely has any information, but it still speaks for itself. Where exactly this video had come from is unknown as the original source is a total mystery. All that is known is that it was found by someone online who reposted the video. In it, a small child is seen lying at a doorway when something pretty baffling happens. Take a look. According to viewers, it seems that the child was either kicked or pushed by an unseen force. Even before it happens, they seem to be scared of something, as though they are trying to get away. Look like something was grabbing his ass at first. Away from whoever or whatever is inside this room. The lack of info and the unknown source of this video makes it hard to determine if it's paranormal or not. For now, it remains a. Yep, I'm gonna have nightmares all freaking night now. Mystery until more info is brought forth. Now this next video was posted in September of this year, but for some reason was taken down a few days later. 
Some believe that the video was removed because the person in it is so traumatized by this incident that they don't want to be reminded of what occurred. Although it's not clear what the reason might be, the owner of the footage has reposted the video for those interested in seeing it before taking it down again. It goes without saying, but the video is pretty creepy to say the least. In it, a security guard is working the night shift inside a private building somewhere in Colombia when something very strange happens. The guard is on duty, patrolling the area, when out of nowhere, someone greets him. Or so it seemed. But why did the why did the, the, the video switch from black and white to color? Like from color to black and white, then back to color. Like I don't understand that. Take a look. Nothing he could be playing, he could be just doing that. He having a whole conversation with somebody. He having a whole conversation with somebody, he don't even know. At the start of the clip, we can see the guard waving at someone and looking at them. But, as the video continues, no one appears. He seems to be having a conversation with someone who doesn't appear to be there. Although pretty strange, it's the following piece of information that makes this video a whole lot creepy. As it turns out, the security guard in this footage says that he was talking to someone who was in need of assistance. That someone was an old lady who was asking for directions to a place in the building. But as we can see in the footage, she doesn't appear to be there. A few minutes pass and the guard is still chatting with whoever it might be that we can't see on camera. But then, after conversating for a while, he is radioed by his coworker, who tells him something that suddenly makes his blood run cold. Watch. Right away, the guard hits the button to the elevator, thinking it would open immediately, but then quickly realizes that the stairs would be a better escape. In a panic frenzy, he runs away and leaves the building without ever looking back. It isn't clear where exactly the guard had went, but given his response, it seems likely that it was far away from this building. <laughs> all in all, his co-workers have no doubt in their minds that this whole encounter was quit? paranormal in nature. But unfortunately, this whole video is a mystery Without sufficient info, the question remains, who or what exactly had the security guard been talking to? Creepy. There's a man, I ain't going to make it through this whole video, man. I'm freaking out <laughs> already, bro. What? No. Oh my god, bro. What the hell? photo online that's been circulating through various groups on Facebook. The image was initially posted somewhere in September of this year, but ever since then, people have been getting creeped out by this photo. Now the photo itself comes from a family who took the image during a baby shower that occurred somewhere in Mexico. Lots of photos were taken at this party, but one in particular has left the family disturbed. 
It was only after the party was over that they looked at the photos and saw the chilling photograph that they can't seem to explain. It's nighttime and the party seems to be going well when someone takes out their phone and begins to take various photos. They see a group of people in the corner and decide to take their picture. Little did they know that they would capture this. The family was left shaken up after seeing this. According to them, nobody was next to this woman when they took the pic. Wow. They further mentioned that its facial appearance is unlike anything they've ever seen. Looks like a skull. Although some people think that this might have been a case of pareidolia, as the rocks in the background could have been mistaken for a face. That's the true. family is certain that this wasn't a rock or something pareidolic. They've taken photos of the same area where the pic was taken, and none of them show the figure that was captured. So then, if this wasn't Pareidolia or someone they know, who or what was this? This next video comes from a man named Chris Hill, who you might recall from a previous video. From exploring abandoned places to seeing things that he can't explain, Chris has had his fair share of creepy occurrences. But his most recent exploration may just be the creepiest. Chris visits an abandoned warehouse at an undisclosed location. Inside, he finds a lot of empty crates and mountains of debris. Although mostly empty, he can't help but feel a certain presence inside this building. Small critters might have made this place their home, but to Chris, it seems that something else is living here. Feeling a little terrified, he searches all around and finds nothing. But here's where things start to get really creepy. As Chris continues to explore the place, mm -hmm. he finds a small staircase that leads him to the floor below. He takes it and finds a room with many doorways. One of them, however, leads to a narrow passage that seemingly has no end. Chris enters the passage and immediately notices something strange. What? It's noticeably colder in here. Oh, okay. What the hell? If you stand right here, it's kind of warm. Like normal temperature. But as soon as you go in here, it gets cold. That is creepy as hell. Shit. Whoa, that is weird. That is weird. Like, I'm not joking, on it. What was that? It's noticeably colder in here. Wow. He gone. This is gonna be creepy. Chris has no idea as to why there's a sudden change in temperature when entering inside. But confused and scared, he walks further into the passage, not sure where it would take him. He eventually arrives at an area that is more spacious and emptier. However, it is at this point when things take a dark turn. He goes in and sets up a few cameras before exploring the whole space. One camera in particular is an infrared camera that records in real time. When he's done setting up all cameras, he continues to explore the site, but unbeknownst to him, this is captured. Damn. Still gotta go down there too. Did you hear that? That was loud. <laughs> Chris, why are you in here, B? What the fuck? Oh, what was that at the door? Look at the door. Look at the door. Right here. Look right here. Look. What the f was that noise? Sounded like something. 
Had it not been for the second camera, this would have been missed. A mist-like figure can be seen approaching Chris from a distance before reaching him. Eerily enough, Chris turns around as soon as the figure gets to him. And, as if that wasn't creepy enough, a strange-like figure in the corner can be seen peeking at the camera. Chris has no clue as to what this could have been, but viewers can't help but think that this might have been some supernatural creature that was spying on Chris. Whatever it might have been, he is certain that he won't be coming back to this place as he's definitely spooked. But as always, what are your thoughts on this? Paranormal or not? If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. This last video shows a woman who appears to be very sick. The person recording claims that she might be on her deathbed. If that's so, then this video just got a whole lot interesting. A friend or relative is watching the woman on the monitor when they notice something odd about the footage. Upon looking closely, Looks they like see the hand. following. Looks like a hand right here. It's like something touching her. And she's talking to whatever it is, too. They're not going to say nothing about that. What looks to be an arm reaching out to the woman on her supposed deathbed can be seen on camera. It reaches out as though whatever this is, is trying to comfort the sick woman. Some viewers have theorized that this might be the ghost of a loved one who is still looking after their partner from beyond the grave. Although pretty wholesome, it is solely a belief. <laughs> Yet most viewers can't help but think this. But of course, what do you think? And then you're not gonna say had the ghost of a loved one paid a visit to this to woman? Too. Or is there a possible explanation for the ghostly arm? Feel free to let me know what you think down below. Dang. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Mm. Until next time. Yeah, screw that crap. Oh my god, bro. I don't know why I put myself through that shit.